Hello friends, welcome back to the channel, and we are going to go over a couple of mods and CC. One that I'm actually really, really excited about having because it brings a little bit more realism to the food and cooking. If you have a chef, if you have a family and you want to kind of get some other foods, but also it ties in me making a functional grocery store. So we're going to be looking at two modders and CC creators, Somic and Severinka. Sorry if I did not say that right. And then CC creator Scody Yodi. I will put their links down below. The both of their mods and CC that I have have helped me one, not only have a more functional kitchen and with appliances, it's given us more food and it also made me have the option to make a full functioning grocery store and have the deco and make it completely flow as is. So looking at Somic and Severinka, we're going to be looking at appliances that they have. As you can see that I already have sitting out. We have a pressure cooker. We have a bottle warmer. We have a blender. Um, I don't think this one is part of theirs. I think that was another mod. It might be, I'm not sure. And we also have their cookbook. Um, I also have a rice cooker, I thought. I don't think I got, I know I got the pressure cooker. Maybe I didn't get the rice cooker. I know there's another one that I think I decided not to get, um, but it's optional if you wanna do it. So when I get these items from them, you also wanna get the realistic food mod. That is also from um, Samic and Savrinka. And then when you get the realistic food mod, you'll then also want to get the SNS cookbook. And that is what is along the wall here. When you get to this cookbook and when you get the mod, you want to actually go through and go get the foods. So if you get this and it's empty, it's because you have to individually go grab the foods that you want. So it doesn't automatically give you the food. You get to pick and choose. That's also what I like about it as well, is that if it's stuff that you wouldn't want in your game, they have gift boxes, they have salads, they have pastries, they have fruits and vegetables, they have specific kid items, they also have uh, microwavable foods, they have meats, and like, it's, it's really awesome. So if we're going to look at some of the appliances here, so we have our Philips um, baby warmer, baby bottle warmer, and you click on that and then you have all of these different bottles. You get a bottle of milk, formula, um, and then they have different teas, chamomile, fennel, rose, hip, and even a bottle of water. So if we were to do um, the bottle of formula, we don't have a baby to give it to, but it's fine. As you can see, I'm like using all of my counter space to do all this, so we'll just, we're, we're, we're doing it for purposes. And also, as I'm showing you the appliances first, I'm also gonna show you how you can actually get the food if you use the country packs that we got where you can make the lot where you have to have fruits and vegetables. You have to have, pretty much where you have to have the ingredients. These foods count towards having those ingredients. I don't have this house and I really don't have any of my lots saved to work like that because it hurts my brain. But to add more realism to the game, I might because now I can actually go to the store and buy eggs. I can actually go buy milk and stuff like that. It's actually really, really cool if you're not a farmer. Okay. All right. So the bottle of milk should be in our inventory. Of course, we don't have a baby to give it to, but now we're going to go to our slow cooker. While she's doing that, I'll go on to show you what our protein shake blender is. So you can milk, uh, milk, mix the shake. Again, you can actually buy the protein and then you'll have blueberry, any milk. You can actually go buy whey protein if you wanted to make sure you actually had the ingredients to make this. So let's make a raspberry one after she's done there. And we're just gonna keep it moving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so now we are making our protein shake and that is now in our inventory. So now we have a nice protein shake that we're gonna do. And now we're gonna work on all right, so now we're gonna go put some food in the pressure cooker. I had to move some things around because my counter space is pretty limited in this area. Um, now that I have all of these foods, I may have to change up my house just a little bit to give myself some more counter space because we are running out of room.
All right, we're gonna put that food in there. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and drink our smoothie. And then the animations are going in our pressure cooker. That is, oops. While that is cooking, we're gonna drink up on our smoothie that we have here. All right, so one thing that I wanna talk about, when you have the SNS cookbook, you can have the cookbook out or you can click on your stove. Now there's one thing that I am curious about because I have the microwavable food and I have the SNS specific microwave, but I'm not seeing the option come up to use the microwave foods that I have. So I'm not 100% sure. All right, so the pressure cooker just went off and I believe it's ready. So we'll release the steam. Still hanging on to our smoothie there. All right, so we're releasing that steam so the food will be ready and then you can grab a serving right from there. Um, so from there, I'm gonna show you how you can order your supplies and then I'll show you how you can cook either from the cookbook or using your stove. So in your home, you're gonna go to your delivery. Now I have the healthy food delivery and then we have the normal order a delivery from SNS. There's three different ones that you can use. I just order the SNS one because the healthy one will show up when you put that delivery in. All right, so the delivery for SNS, we have a grocery delivery, the healthy food one, and then the food shop delivery. So if we were to go to the grocery delivery, this is where we're gonna get all of our supplies that would go towards the food that we need to make, apple juice, the baby tea, a bag of chips that you can eat from, the bag of marshmallows, uh, the beef ramen, we have caviar, bread, hamburger buns, canned beans, cheese, chili jars, chocolate bars, and so on and so forth. Um, if we want to get our meat, um, we have fish that we can buy, we have eggs that we can buy, grade A, B, or C. Um, another one, I definitely wanted to show you the meat. We can get a box of food. Let's get, there's the infant formula. If we wanted to buy infant formula, these are the instant noodles. Let's go ahead and purchase that. Here's a thing of steak. We have beef, we have chicken. So it, it breaks it down to the different packages of you can get. Let's go ahead and get this milk since it's right in front of us. And then we also have oil, pastas. So you can literally go down the list, flour, popcorn, it sausages like you can get all of these things oh there's the whey protein so we can buy the whey protein and let's go ahead and purchase that and then we're going to do the s and s um healthy food so say you have a sim that is going through a health regimen and you can actually order a week's worth of food and it tells you what days are which i think that's really cool if you have a a sim that is going through a health kick. So we already ordered that. Our healthy food we're gonna call. So it has individuals. There's a uh, barley porridge and blueberries, broccoli soup puree, chicken stewed beans and green salad. And then there actually has a diet one through diet seven and it tells you what days that you can buy these for and eat them. So if we were to pick a Saturday and a Sunday and then you also had dried fruits, um, fish salad, you have a cup of fruits, and let's go ahead and add one of those. And then they have some other individual meals and you also get protein bars. Let's get one of those, uh, protein cookies. So it actually has, um, here's some coconut protein shake. It has some healthy choices that you can already get for yourself if you don't wanna make them. All right, so then the last section of the S and S is where you're going to do more of um, grocery well, it's not the grocery. It's like if you go into a restaurant or um, a grocery store and they have like a buffet down and you can get packaged food. So this is a food shop delivery. So these are already packaged foods. Chocolate cake, um, potato bowl, sushi, excuse me, sushi with chicken, sushi with crab. So these are like little gourmet dishes that you can get ordered and bring and have them ordered to you. Now, 
I'm also going to show you how if you don't want to order, say, a delivery and use my grocery store that I made, I did set the grocery store up as a retail store. So I may go in and have a sim buy it and then put the individual things on the shelf, um, be purchased. But there is a self checkout that you can do and the food delivery that you can do. All right. So let's go ahead and pick up this delivery. And then after I show you some of the meals that we're going to cook on either through the cookbook or the stove, I'll go take you over to the grocery store that is completely usable and active. So if you want to have another type of build in your house, then you can. All right. And everyone, everyone is here that with our delivery and then we'll have him go. <laughs> Everyone's coming in now. All right. So did we tip him? I hope nobody tipped him. All right. Let's go get that delivery. I know I have all the people coming over. And then when we're done, we will unload that bag, unload that bag. And then when he sets that one down, we will get that one unloaded. No, don't come in my house. I wish when you got a delivery, like they would just, thank you. You should go. <laughs> All right. So that was our healthy food delivery. And then we will unload that bag. Okay. So now we have our delivery in our inventory. So with the instant food, we can put that away. If we don't want to keep it in our inventory and it'll just go in the refrigerator and the same thing with our milk as you see here there's a button that says open we'll open that and anything that you open like all the milk all the meat the whey uh, protein it will automatically put it where it needs to go if it needs to go in the refrigerator then it'll go in the fridge if not it'll just stay in your inventory or you can cl you can click and drag anything honestly to put into your inventory so as we're opening all of these, my clicker is a little bit faster. We have our Sunday meal. I think we got all of our meal. All right, so we have our Saturday and our Sunday meal. It is Saturday. I'm just gonna open up the Saturday one. And so for our Saturday meal, we got an omelet with spinach and fresh cucumbers. We got a broccoli soup. We got a fresh salad with carrots and peas, and we got a smoothie. So those would be our meals for Saturday, and then we can keep our Sunday one in here if we want to. So let's go over to our cookbook. And like I said, you can click on your cookbook or you can click on the stove. The food that you're gonna look at has pictures. So breakfast has a skillet, dinner has a full deep meal deal, and then uh, you can bake. So, and then you click on the cookbook, you can go to baby food or you can go to cook. When I go to cook, it breaks it down from breakfast, lunch, dinner, salads, appetizers, bakings, baking, um, etc. Sorry about that. And then what was the other one? And then drinks. So again, you have to individually download these meals. I went through and I downloaded all of these. If you don't, you're not going to have any of these. So if I wanted to make baby food, I can do yogurt, cottage cheese, drinks, or puree jar. Um, right now I do not have anything cause I don't have a high chair for that. So we can't do that baby food. But if I wanted to do more of baking, of course I'm not at a certain level, so I can't get to some of these. I just made this household. So let's go to lunch and dinner. So I added these meals, um, jollof rice with chicken, baked salmon. And as you can see, I did buy red meat. I don't have the slot saved where I have to have these ingredients. That's why I can't make any of them. But when it's in green, it's telling me I do have any red meat and it's actually going to cost me $72 because I don't have all of those other items. And again, I have the meat for that. Um, this one, I'm not, I'm not high enough to make the lasagna yet, but these are all the meals that I, that I downloaded and put into the game. So we can go ahead and make the jollof, uh, rice with chicken. And then of course it tells you the different ingredients that you can do. And again, if I go to my, um, if I go to my stove and say, I want to do, let's do dinner again. And this one breaks it down. Did I buy any veggies? I think I added veggies to this. I don't think I bought really much any vegetables. I have an avocado Mackey roll, um, but I'm not high enough for that yet. We can do baked veggies. Um, let's do the Aborigine uh, Parmesan. We can add that. We're just making all this food. Um, all the food in here. 
So this was a dish that I made that's a drink. That's a, a serving bowl. So we can go ahead and have my child grab that. And then my other son went in there and grabbed some of the instant noodles, as you can see. So that's always nice. That's always nice that he actually went in there and grabbed some of the leftovers of the instant noodles. So now we have some avocado toast. And it looks delicious. We have avocado toast, juice, we can grab a serving. And those are some of those items that you can use. I have stuff all over the floor. All right, so another thing that we have is this newer barbecue grill. So this is the other item from Somic and Severinka. This is the functional mangle barbecue and 10 recipes on skewers. So we can cook on coals. And then we have all these new skewers, uh, sausage on skewers, mushroom, pork, lamb, poultry, lula kebab, fun, fun options, salmon. Um, so if we were to do sausage, oh, let's do corn, the corn on skewers. All right. So we are cooking some skewers now. Don't they look pretty good? She's going to set them on the ground. Called it. Uh, <laughs> she's. She put it on the ground. It's whatever. All right. So now I'm going to take you to my grocery store that I built. It is functional as a retail store, but you can go in there um, and either set everything for sale individually. If you like to play through someone owning a grocery store or just leave it as a quote unquote deco and you can go there and you can use the realistic food mod. What was added, which is a self checkout, which is actually really cool. If you don't want your Sim to do like a home, a home delivery, you can actually take them over to this grocery store and do a self checkout. Again, this is going to be from Somic and Savrinka that I tied in with CC from Scotty Yodi. So if you want to get this build, make sure the CC check mark is checked in the gallery. And then also you make sure you have all the, um, the mods in CC that I have. Again, you can find my mods in CC Google form where I link all of these so you can go have access to them so you're not missing anything. The only other thing that you would be missing is if there's any items that I used from packs that you don't have or if I use um, other CC that you possibly don't have. But as long as you're using those two abundance of things, you really shouldn't be missing much. I even have the Deco Sims in my Google form that I use in here. Some of them are shopping um, and stuff like that. I have a mixture of kids and adults. If you don't want that extra clutter, then it's not going to show up for you. All right. So I'm not going to do a full walkthrough of the grocery store. We did do a speed build of this. So if you want a full walkthrough to go see it, you're more than welcome to, but this is our functional grocery store that we have. I did change something from the initial build though. I went ahead and added this little, um, what is it? it's like a buffet that you would walk in. Sometimes grocery stores have this. Um, this is also from, um, Somic and Savrinka. This is something separate. So again, if you don't have this, this is not going to be in your game. The original one I did has a different corner over here. And then I put the individual dishes and see when you hire someone, it looks like a little buffet. This would be also nice to have in a restaurant if you wanted to have like a buffet um, idea going or a diner. So I actually like that I have that. So as I said, I don't have all of these um, down and sold, but as you can see, it just gives it that feel of having a real store. And some of these items are from DLC, but most of this is from the realistic food mod and the decor. This is where I want to take you. I don't know what she just bought. I don't, I don't know what she just bought. <laughs> Anyways, this is where I wanted to show you is that with the realistic food mod, 
if you don't want to do a delivery and you actually want to like take your sim out, have them go grocery shopping, you know, for the role play aspect of it, these are self checkout, um, checkouts that you can go to. So you click on it and you would go to purchase product. And when you go up to it, it's going to roll call through the entire list of when we called the SNS delivery. So, um, everything will pop up again. Um, if you want to go through and purchase everything that you want, and have intact but it's the exact same the exact same products whatever you add into your game it is here and then you can go through and just buy what you need off of here and then everything is going to go into your inventory as you're putting the money in and purchasing your goods and look at the detail of that really 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 good that they did and look at that everything is in your inventory you can eat the bag of chips or go stick them at home and then stuff like that um this is another uh cc item that i got i thought they said it was functional um but as of i'm noticing it's just decor i don't know if i got the wrong one or not who knows who knows all right so then if we go over to this vendor we can click on this and we can get we can order food order main dishes order salads um if we go to our main dishes it's going to break all of that down um if you go to oops my bad if you go to order salads it's going to break down all of the salads let's get a bean salad with crackers and then if you do if you do food to go then cod with potatoes greek salad avocado with herbs let's do a shrimp and vegetables and then you're just going to order that right thin in there from said vendor. All right. So we got our shrimp with vegetables, which I don't know the difference is when you get it to go compared to, oh, I guess we just answered a question. If you get it to go, it's going to go in your inventory. If you buy it right out, um, you're going to eat it right then in there. So there you go. You could buy food while you're in here shopping and <laughs> eat. But yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I may um, hire someone to literally mark all of these items for sale because I like running retail stores. And then this will also probably fill this area up as well with actual Sims coming in. Um, but it's completely up to you. And um, then we just have all of our decor items here um, just to give it a little bit of extra. Oh, we did get some we did get some Sims coming here. They're, they're checking out the comic book section <laughs> that you can get over here. Um, we can purchase a bottle right there. Um, these are also from Sonic and Savrinka. So if you want this, you'll have to get, um, I believe this is the realistic winery or something like that. Um, I may stick these in my, I may stick these in my winery. I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. Um, but did she actually purchase a bottle? I think she thought about it. Thought real hard about it. I didn't really purchase anything. So I'm not really sure. But yeah. Um, but some of the decor things that I got from Scotty Yachty is this self-checkout this has i believe four different swatches kroger walmart target and then this one is a generic one and then also the shopping carts they have target walmart kroger and the generic one i'm using the generic one and then you also can get the shopping what are these called buggy thingies you can get those why are they hanging out here okay that's interesting um and then also the cart rack uh again you get Kro again you get kroger walmart target and then the generic one and i just have the generic one here well that was the walkthrough of the mod in cc and how i'm utilizing my realistic food mod again i'm trying to figure out what is missing from the microwavable uh, mods and CC because I know I do have the microwavable foods Thanks Kendra Sorry, my dog started barking um, Kendra 
I am trying to figure out what is going on with the microwave, though, because I do have the microwavable foods. Um, so I'm not really sure why it's not pulling up because um, I clearly have them and I've re-downloaded it and tried it again. So I don't know what really happened. I can try and download them maybe one more time to see what has happened but i'm using the sns microwave it's not working i've tried the microwave from any of uh, the appliances and it hasn't pulled up but normally the fast food for the microwave it should pop up right there so i'm gonna try and troubleshoot it but other than that a lot of the food that i have and the access to things that i have is working just fine if we don't have the microwave food, then it is what it is. And it's not the end of the world because we have a ton of other foods that we can use. So let me know what you guys think. Are you using any of these CC items or any of the mods? And um, what is something next that we should build that is interactive? I'm really enjoying building other things besides just houses. The apartments have been fun for a while to give us a little bit more space for people to move into. Um, but it's it's nice to be back playing The Sims and engaging with you guys. So don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little bell so you don't miss any of the next videos. And I will catch you ne next time. Have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are. And this is Luna, Galaxy out.